Good morning. Welcome to your daily morning prayer and devotions. This is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Let us read from Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. You see, prayer is the power bank of our daily journey. It's a soul refresher. It's a stress reliever. It's a means of communication to God. And here in LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, it is the backbone of our ministry. We're hoping that uh, you're enjoying our daily devotions and prayer with us. As we start the morning, these are our goals uh, for our prayer uh, and uh, devotion session. Uh, number one, we wish to be selfless. We wish to teach our people to be selfless, to pray for other people, and uh, to teach our people how to pray, basically, and uh, to form a habit of praying. In Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. It says, he said to him, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. In Ephesians 3, 17 to 19, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. I pray that you, being rooted and firmly established in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the length and width, height and depth of God's love. And to know Christ's love that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Let us start with our devotion. The title is A Burst of Praise. Paul's main prayer for the Christians at Ephesus is that they would know Christ's love for them. He did not mean that they should know Christ's love in their heads, but in their hearts. Paul feels so strongly about this request that he gives it a threefold emphasis. The first emphasis is to be rooted and grounded in love. Second, to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth. And to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge. It seems like Paul does not have the words to express how deeply he feels about this request. These believers simply must know how much Christ loves them. Why? Why is this so important? Well, God's love for us is the most important thing in our lives. If we do not feel loved by God, then we will not love God back. At best, we will have a religious duty but we will not have a love affair with Jesus. We will not fulfill the first commandment to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. If you do not feel loved by God, we will not trust Him, not for the big things. Will you trust God if you don't believe He loves you and that He wants the best for you? Not a chance. If you do not feel loved by God, we will not obey God. We'll obey the easy commands, the ones we would do anyway, but not the hard, but not the hard ones. We won't obey God because we don't believe that He has our best interest at heart. We could go, go on, on and on and on. Every aspect of the spiritual life hinges on the love of God for us. If we do not know in the deepest places of our soul that our God loves us so much, then we will not love Him, trust Him, obey Him, serve Him, enjoy Him, worship Him, rest in Him, or even seek Him. This is the foundation of our spiritual life. Nothing is more important. No wonder Paul's greatest prayer focuses on Christ's love for us. No wonder Paul places such an ordinate emphasis on this love that he wants others to know the breadth and the length and the height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge. No wonder. If you pray only one prayer for your loved ones, if you pray only one prayer for your church, if you pray only one prayer for yourself, Make it this prayer. 
Oh Lord, oh Lord, may we know how much you love us. Hallelujah. Let us start praying for one another. Come and join us and uh, as you uh, listen to us, as you watch this video, may you be one in, in spirit with us. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your great love. We thank you, Lord God, that you are trustworthy. You are worthy to be praised, Lord God. We acknowledge that you are the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Thank you for being our Savior. Thank you for being, for being our God. Thank you for being our provider. Lord, if there's anything that is uh, that considers sinful in our hearts, Lord God, anything that we did, anything that we said, anything that uh, we thought of, Lord God, we ask for forgiveness. And now we repent to your sins, Lord God. You may say your personal repentance and uh, ask God for forgiveness. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that uh, we receive from you. Thank you, Lord God, for all the blessings that we continue to receive from you. Thank you, Lord God, for all the blessings that we are about to receive from you. Thank you for being our provider, for our healer, for, uh, for our way maker, for answering all our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for uh, we, we, we are just thinking of the words, what to say, what to utter, and our prayers already answered our prayers. Lord, uh, we wish to ask favor from you, Lord God, and uh, pray for our, our world today, Lord God, who's, uh, who specifically pray, Lord God, for the pandemic to end, for COVID-19 to end. We specifically pray, Lord God, for the tensions, Lord God, to ease uh, in the South China Sea, uh, uh, China and the Philippines, the tension with the Middle East and the uh, United States, the tension uh, within the Middle East and Israel. We pray for peace for Israel, Lord God. And um, we pray, Lord God, that uh, there would be better economy for uh, all over the world, Lord God. We pray for our country, Lord God, for the Philippines. We pray for our president, President Duterte. Duterte. We, pr uh, we pray for our uh, government leaders, Lord. And uh, we pray for that uh, you heal our land, Lord God, with uh, divisiveness. And uh, mud throwing, Lord God, and we pray, Lord God, that uh, you continue to be the God, Lord God, all, all over the Philippines. We pray, Lord God, for our beloved country, the United States of America. We pray, Lord, that I uh, continue to um, give wisdom to our president, uh, President Donald Trump, and uh, we pray for the upcoming elections. May the may the Best person will win, Lord God. Uh, whoever you, you will choose, you will uh, bless, Lord God. May we have a peace, peaceful elections, Lord God. And uh, after the election, Lord God, we pray for peace and prosperity, Lord. We pray for our churches, Lord God, your church, Lord. We pray for our denomination, the uh, Church of the Nazarene, Lord, that is celebrating the 125th anniversary today. We pray, Lord God, for the churches in LA, Lord, specifically for our church, the LA Filipino First, uh, the LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We pray that uh, you continue to lead us and give us wisdom as we go back in our feet, Lord God, after this pandemic. We pray, Lord God, for the multi-congregational churches, Lord, that is the LA First English the Spanish congregation, the Korean congregation, and of course, the Filipino congregation. We pray, Lord, that uh, you continue to use these uh, congregations, Lord God, these churches, to be a light and salt in Los Angeles. We pray, Lord God, for 
our co-Filipino churches here in Los Angeles, in Metro, Metro Los, Los Angeles, Oregon, uh, also in California and U.S. and Canada, and all the Filipino churches in the world. We pray for our sister church, New Hope Naz in North Hollywood. We pray for Covinas in uh, Covina. We pray for uh, all the churches, Lord God, here in Metro LA and uh, California. Specifically, Lord God, those people who are ministering to the Filipino ethnic community, I pray, Lord God, that uh, we may find unity in your sight, Lord God, and uh, uh, other churches, not just uh, not, not just the Church of the Nazarene, we also pray for other Filipino churches, especially within the LA, uh, metro LA area, Lord, and we pray that uh, we we became we become allies and uh, we're not. We don't become competitors, Lord. We, we pray, Lord God, that uh, our main goal is to please you, to serve you, and to do your will. We pray for our neighbors, Lord God, and we pray for our friends. We pray for our relatives, Lord God. And uh, we want to pray for the following people, Lord. Lord, we pray for complete healing for Don Richella, for her stage one cancer, Lord God. Uh, we pray for Romy, Romy Giwa, Lord, that... Um, uh, you'll heal his kidney problem, Lord God. We also pray for Danny Munoz for his kidney problem, Lord God. Complete healing be upon him. We pray for Vedi for his pancreatic cancer, Lord. Uh, we believe, Lord, that you are the healer. You are the, the great healer, Lord God. And we believe in you. We believe that uh, you can heal them, Lord. We pray for God's comfort for the family of Lingling at San Leonco. We pray for her husband, her children, her grandchildren, her parents, her relatives and friends to, uh, that you heal them, Lord God, that you embrace them with your comfort and love. I pray that you reveal your, yourself to them, Lord God, in, in this, uh, in this, uh, in this kind of, uh, this, uh, a time of sadness for them, Lord. We pray for provisions, Lord God, for the family of Daniel Mejia, uh, for their immigration process as they prepare to move, Lord God, from the Philippines uh, to the U.S. We remember Marianne Ramos, Lord God, to pray for her aunt. Uh, she's eight years old and uh, she needs a major heart surgery. Her name is uh, Loretta Ramos. We pray for Julie Augustine. We pray for her good health. And uh, we pray for complete healing for the knees of uh, Nympha Fabula. Lord God, uh, we also pray, uh, Lord, for our Facebook friends, uh, Sister Annie uh, Flora Emerald. We pray for her physical healing and uh, good health for her family here in the U.S. Uh, and in the Philippines. Uh, we pray for the salvation of her family and friends, uh, especially for her family and friends, Lord God, and other people who are still unsaved, Lord God. We pray for uh, Jackie Kelly Peel, for her grandchild having a heart surgery this coming Wednesday. Lord, we pray that uh, you'll be... You'll be the surgeon, Lord God. You'll be the doctor, Lord God, and you'll be, you'll be, Lord God. Um, you'll be, you'll be the, you'll be the, you'll be the one who take over, Lord God, that surgery, Lord. We pray, Lord God, that uh, while this child is on top of the operating table, you'll give wisdom to the doctors and nurses, Lord God, and uh, you will heal him completely, and you will recover fast, Lord God. And uh, you will make so you will make yourself known to these people, Lord, whoever they are. I pray that uh, you will make use of this incident, Lord God, that uh, to prove that you are God, that you are mighty, that you are worthy to be praised. 
We, uh, we pray all this, Lord God. Uh, we pray for our service today, uh, the 125th anniversary of uh, the Church of the Nazarene. We pray for our General Superintendent, who will be our speaker, uh, Reverend Crocker. We pray for our District Superintendent, uh, Pastor Greg Garman, and uh, his wife, Leslie. We pray for them, Lord God, that you continue to give them wisdom, that you continue to... Uh, Give them uh, uh, strength to lead, Lord God, especially the great responsibility that you give them. We thank you, Lord God, for all the blessings. We thank you, Lord God, for the power of prayer. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you very much for having us, Lord. Uh, thank you for uh, for being with us, praying with us, the Israeli First Church of the Nazarene. Uh, we will reopen on November 1st, 2020. Uh, our church schedule will be uh, will be every Sunday, 9 a.m. at Wiley Chapel at uh, 3401 West 3rd Street, Los Angeles, California. And those are details. Uh, please follow us on our uh, social media. Uh, this is Pastor Jeff, and uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, listening and watching. And um, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope that uh, you have a great Sunday today. It is uh, it is the uh, 18th of October, 2020. It's Sunday morning. It's 4.20 a.m. And um, thank you. Thank you for praying with us, for having this devotion with us. God bless you.